Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial on how to use persistent vector storage with Llama Index for your LLM apps. So we're going to run through this in about five sections. So first I'm going to talk a little bit about the prereqs and then we're going to um, you know, get everything set up and we're going to connect our LLM and then we're going to spin up uh, a vector database, in this case Milvis. Then we're going to create our vector index using Llama Index and then we're going to query the index. So Let's first, let's get started. These are the prereqs, right? You have to um, have the correct versions of Milvis, uh, Llama Index, OpenAI for the LLM, and Python.env to get the environment variable that we need. So .env is, I've, I have a .env file that contains my OpenAPI key. And I also have this data from, um, the, from Llama Index's examples, actually. And I'll include a link to that um, uh, below. And so this is the Paul Graham essay. So we're basically going to query this uh, essay about Paul Graham. So first, we're going to import um, our Llama imports. So from this, we need the GPT vector store index, the storage context, and the simple directory reader. Then we're going to import um, the, from Llama index vector stores. We're going to import Milvis vector store. Then we'll need to get Milvis. We'll get, need to get Milvis Lite. This is the default server, which allows us to run Milvis directly in our vector, uh, sorry, in our Python notebook. Um, and then we're gonna import the load.m function to get our environment variables and OS, okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load our .m file. Then we're going to set our OpenAI API key to the environment variable corresponding to oh some bad typing here to the OpenAI API key. This is what I named my this is the key that I gave it in the .m file. So whatever key you give in the .m file, that's what you should put there. Now I'm going to start up our Milvis server, and this should start up within a few seconds. Okay, once this is started, we should get um, uh, a vector store. So vector store. I'm going to set this equal to the Milvis vector store, and the host is going to be localhost or one twenty seven point zero point zero point one. And the port we're going to uh, set equal to the port uh, default server dot listen port to the port that the default server is using. And now we're going to load up our data and put it into um, a vector index. So we'll set the documents and we'll use the simple directory reader here. And we're going to get data, which is uh, this file right here, or this uh, directory right here, and we're going to load that data. Now we're going to create our storage context, which is going to use the vector index. Storage context from defaults and vector store equals the vector store that we created earlier. Then we'll also set the index here, and we'll make a vector store index uh, from the documents. And from the documents, we'll just provide the documents that we made, as well as the storage context that we just used. Once we have the storage context and the index ready, we're ready to um, basically you know, query this. So we'll do a query engine. We'll make a, the index our query engine as query engine. And then we're going to get a response from the query engine. So the query engine is going to run the query. What did the author do growing up? And then we'll print out that response. So this should complete in you know a few seconds, and it should tell us something about um, you know the author growing up and programming and writing short stories and ah there we go you know writing essays, um, working with computers. Um, so yeah, this is what we expect to see, and that's pretty much all there is to using a vector story uh, vector database as your persistent vector store in Llama Index. Thanks for watching.